Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Bears, Wines and Spirits review. Tonight I'm going to do a, a re-review of the pomegranate juice wine. So, quickly pour out a glass. Last time I reviewed this was um, Christmas. Hello. Yeah. Now, funnily enough, I've been drinking it since Christmas. And uh, it's it's uh, been pretty decent actually. It certainly helped me sleep at night, especially on nights when I'm a bit stressed. So there you go. That as it is now, it's uh, it's like slightly fizzy wine. Uh, a couple of the wines have done this to me. The juice wines, both this and the blueberry wine, and both turned out decent in the end. So definitely a smell of pomegranate. You definitely get that smell of alcohol. Uh, I would say this is around the ten percent mark. Um, so six kilos of. Uh, sugar, six bot litres of pomegranate juice, and uh, then from Wilco's, their yeast and nutrient uh, that cost me £2.50. But I only used enough, I uh, split it over the three, so under a tenner again, 30 pence a uh, bottle. And this was the king of these, these experiments, shall we say. And it's made a nice, it's made a nice rosé wine. And I can't say I've ever had pomegranate before. But I would put this probably third in my juice wine uh, rankings, as it were. Behind number two, orange juice wine. That was immense. Can't tell you how, I forgot when I was on about it last night in the other reviews. I forgot how good the orange juice wine was. One, it was as potent as they come, strong as they come. Like orange juice, but on steroids. You know, you drink, you get your orange juice in the morning, neck it, neck this, you're on your back, you're like, oh, what was that? And uh, yeah, really good. And I'm looking tonight on Sainsbury's, Tesco's, Morrison's, Asda, and I'm going to do another cherry juice wine. Uh, because I looked, somebody, somebody commented on the last review, uh, when did you do your cherry juice with our wine review? So I looked on the playlist and it was the number five review that I ever did. So that was over a thousand reviews ago. Wow. And because it was so good, I am going to revisit that uh, particular avenue. For the summer months also, I'm thinking of doing an apple and mango or just a pure mango juice wine. I think that would be interesting. Uh, maybe third... I looked at tomato juice, but no, let's not go down that road. Tomato juice wine. It just sounds wrong, doesn't it? Um, cranberry as well. So I'll see what other ones out there. I know there's like the exotic pineapple and mango, or, you know, there's exotic ones. Uh, so I'm, I'm definitely going to do another free juice, juice wine kits, because I fill my barrels up with them, so it don't bother me uh, what happens with them. And as an experiment, it cost me about 22 quid for to make free, bro, free brews, and that is cheap as chips. So, I've just been to watch Sonic the movie, got dragged along, and uh, without giving any spoilers away, it's a good kiddies movie. Um, but it's got some good elements that will please fans of Sonic the series. And uh, overall, I think a good, a good family movie, yeah. And a lot better than what I was expecting. I wasn't expecting it to be that good. So, yeah, decent. As for this, yeah, this is really good. Uh, I don't know how to make it any better. I know that I brewed it in the ferment fermentation bucket, went for weeks in there, then I transferred it to the barrel. Uh, I didn't add any sugar to it, so it's it's like fizzing up on its own sugars. But it's produced a slightly sparkling, like a frizzante type um, rosé wine. And uh, as you can see, it's crystal clear. Not like the other two. Crystal clear, decent wine. Good tasting. Yeah, a good tasting fruit wine. And for 30 pence a bottle, you just can't beat that. I mean, no. Out of five then. Um, 
I'm going to give it a 4.4 out of 5, comparing it to other home brews, not, not, not against commercial wines. Yeah, about 4.4 out of 5. That was a success. The other two, maybe not, but uh, you know, you win some, you lose some. Right, that's all for this review. Thanks for watching. See you soon.